I'm very pleased to present uh, this conference with the leading our researchers. And the title of my presentation is uh, Social Capital in RDD Plus, a case study of Myanmar community forestry. A question penetrating uh, this research is why social factors are important in forestry program? Why do we need to so consider social factor in international forestry program? Today, I would like to talk about a, a social factor which was neglected and considered as a secondary issue in forestry program. Moreover, I would like to explain the uh, importance of social factor using concept of social capital. So table of contents is following by this one. And I believe we all agree that we are living in an era of climate change. The picture on the left side uh, shows the variation of surface, uh, uh, surface temperature in past 100 years. And the picture on the right side shows the changes of global surface temperature. These figures explain how serious issue and the importance of climate change problem that all of us are facing today. So against the climate change problem, there was a long-term and systematic mechanism was initiated, which is RDD plus. RDD plus reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation is well known as a mechanism which has potential to reduce 30% of carbon emission and also known as a cost-effective program which can provide the community development. Despite the efforts of implementing forestry program from worldwide countries and international agency, Sadly, the world forest area is decreasing. So regarding the uh, declining forest area, local forest degradation was considered as a major factor, such as uh, illegal logging and slash and burn in local community. Many researchers tried to explain what is the important factor for realizing RDD plus. And recent study suggests that the three E's, which is carbon effectiveness, cost efficiency, and social equity. And also social soundness approach, including uh, social factors are crucial for achieving effective uh, RDD plus. Furthermore, uh, there is a well-known theory that generalizes relationship between social factor and forest changes. It is uh, suggested in the figure on the right side, and it is called the uh, environmental Kuznets curve. EKC is a reverse U-shaped curve explaining the relationship between economic growth and deforestation changes. To briefly uh, uh, introduce EKC, at the beginning of the economic growth, uh, deforestation is increasing. However, when economy reaches a certain level, deforestation starts to improve. So in other words, um, effectiveness of forest restoration and for uh, deforestation may vary based on the contribution of RDD plus program on poverty reduction. However, um, social factors are very diverse and complicated and also it is inherited in society. So it is uh, difficult to measure its impact on forest program. But we can explain it uh, using concept of social capital. The social capital is a uh, intangible capital uh, in society, usually known as a uh, consist of network, trust, and social inclusion and cooperation. And social capital is also recognized as a important factor of uh, sustainable development due to its contribution in reducing transaction cost and motivating economic activities in local community. We can understand that social factors are important in order to achieve success of RDD Plus program. However, we cannot deny that the 
social factor has been considered as a secondary issue in traditional forest programs. The research objective of uh, this study is to uh, develop a social capital measurement tool considering the mechanism of local forest conservation, and then estimate the effects of social capital on the poverty reduction in the Myanmar. So research framework as follows. So this slide explains about the uh, uh, research model. We have developed a household, household welfare estimation model based on the World Bank SCIQ model. So dependent variable of this model is uh, poverty. It is based on the household income. And other experimental variables are consist of uh, social capital and human capital and physical capital and social economic characteristic. And lastly, our community forest membership was included. So these are information of our target area and data we have collected. Uh, we conducted a survey in Myanmar, Yangon province, uh, three townships, and we have collected uh, 66 samples and uh, half of respondents were member of community forestry. So this slide explains about the research variables we have adopted from previous studies. Uh, variables are consist of poverty and social capital, and human capital and physical capital and household characteristics. We have conducted a validity test to verify the social capital model. And validity test is including explanatory factor analysis and reliability uh, test. So this is the result of a social capital estimation uh, based on the social economic backgrounds. Uh, uh, results from the social capital based on township, among three townships, the Kunyangun area had, had showed the higher level of social capital compared to other regions. The difference of social capital level can be explained by type of forest management in the where, uh, area whether it is uh, collectively managed or uh, individually managed. So Kunyangon area manage their mangrove forest collectively and share the benefits from the forest uh, among with the local villagers. And however, other villagers, the other villagers, they have managed their forest individually and they did not have system that sharing benefits from forest together. So it is interpreted that the different level of cooperation regarding common problems in community is leading the higher level of social capital compared to other villages. The next figure explains about those uh, estimated social capital based on the poverty status. So level of uh, uh, household which were in uh, non-poverty showed the, had the higher level of social capital and next uh, figure explains about the social capital based on the education. And this research implies that the social capital was fairly distributed and based on the education. So correlationship, uh, correlation analysis was implemented to identify the relationship between household and household income and other variables. The first figure explains about correlation between social capital and household income. The next figure explains uh, the correlation between physical capital and income. And the uh, left side, the, the figure explains our uh, household, the human capital and income. And the next figure explains about household members and incomes correlation. So to summarize the result of correlation analysis, social capital and physical capital and human capital number of household members are correlated with the income with a statistically uh, significant level. Of course, I believe that there will be a bi-directional relation between the variables the, due to its uh, endogenous nature and the estimated correlation would have a limitation to verify the strict correlation between the dependent and uh, explanatory variables. 
However, the, this result clarifies that the positive tendency between social capital and income. We have conducted logistic regression analysis to uh, identify the effect of social capital on poverty. The results show that the social capital had a negative effect on poverty and results of marginal effects analysis revealed that uh, an increase in social capital affects poverty reduction. To summarize the results, uh, social capital have affected uh, poverty reduction and an increase in social capital affects uh, poverty reduction. And also interestingly, community forestry membership and poverty show the uh, statistically significant positive relationship, uh, which means socially marginalized poor people with the low means of uh, income, such as uh, from agriculture or without any agricultural land in Myanmar community, uh, these people are, are having a higher uh, tendency or uh, to participate in the community forestry policy. So this uh, result implies that CF community, policy, community forestry policy may expand to include poverty elevation policy beyond its uh, community-driven forest management in Myanmar. So now I would like to uh, summarize of uh, this research. First of all, this study clarified the importance of social capital in achieving RDD plus objectives and presented a tool to estimate the effect of social capital on poverty. And also, the study found that the social capital has a significant effect on poverty reduction. Therefore, investment in social capital can help elevate uh, poverty. Lastly, we found that the uh, community forestry members were more likely to live in poverty, which implies that the socially marginalized residents uh, are participating in this community forestry policy. So I would like to conclude uh, uh, my presentation with the several contribution and uh, policy implications. So this study contributes to quantifying uh, social capital and finding the positive effect of social capital on poverty reduction in Myanmar. And accumulating social capital is crucial for achieving success of RDD Plus programs. And also, based on this research, forest-related organizations in the community must be activated and considered when selecting RDD Plus project sites. This is end of my presentation and thank you for your uh, attention.